Welcome back, LaMarcus. Thanks for having me, yeah. So, I mean, last year, obviously very scary when, yeah. when you had to abruptly retire with your heart condition. Obviously, it's incredible just to see you healthy, healthy enough to come back and play. When did you start to get the feeling like, you know what, I might be all right, and I'd like to get back out on the floor? So as soon as I, you know, kind of made my announcement, I went home, and then I started seeing my doctor there, and we started doing tests, and you know, kind of, you know, trying to see what was up. And then um, did the whole tour, did some tests, and then everything came back kind of normal. Uh, you know, it wasn't uh, completely normal, but it was normal. So then I started to go on the court and, like, do some things. So I would say maybe, like, a month or two after I retired, I, I started feeling like, you know what, you know, this is possible, so let me start trying to call my agent first <laughs> and then see how to reverse this and then, uh, you know, go from there. So then... You know, I, I started with the doctor there, and then I ended up here. And, you know, it was a, a long five months, but it, it was worth it. Well, we are thrilled that you ended up here. <laughs> I say that much. Um, but I cannot even imagine the roller coaster that it was. When it became a reality, though, that you would be able to be back on the court and play again, considering how much of a part basketball has been of your life, sure. uh, it, it, take us into that moment and just into your headspace of understanding that the, the retirement didn't yeah. necessarily have to happen. Um, it was kind of like, hey, like, you know, like all little work has been worth it. I'm not done yet. I just felt like it was, you know, my whole thing is like unfinished business. I came here and it was a great team and I was helping that team out and, you know, I just had to leave. So it was like, okay, like, let's go back and let's finish this. And it really wasn't emotional because I feel like when I retired, it was so much emotional stuff and you're confused and you're trying to find it. So it was like I was past all that stuff. So it was more like let's go work hard, you know, and like let's go play. Did, LaMarcus, how closely did you watch the Nets in the playoffs last year? And if you were watching closely, oh, were you saying, oh, if I was there, I know I'd be helping? Uh, was there that sort of experience for you? For sure. I watched every game. And um, the one game in particular where we just needed one bucket, I was like, I can give him a bucket. <laughs> and it was just tough to watch it because I just knew, like, you know, I could help. And, you know, I was at home watching, you know, kind of frustrated or whatever. But I watched every game, and I definitely felt at times I was like, man, I wish I was there just to help out a little bit. But, mm. you know, I'm back now, so hopefully, you know, I can do it now. You're back, ready to help out. Yeah, uh, for sure. it, what about this roster and obviously the different groups? Seven players back from that playoff roster for the Knicks this year in a lot of fortification of, of so many different areas, especially front court looking at you coming back. Uh, what are your thoughts on just the way this roster has shook out and in some of the aspirations that you guys have for this year? I'm not a GM, but I think it's very versatile because I feel like, you know, we can play small ball, Blake, Paul, you know, and then we can play big with myself or, you know, Clack. So I feel like it's very uh, versatile, and I feel like in this NBA, like, you have to be able to do both big and, you know, and play small ball. So I feel like, you know, we have that ability, and I feel like the team is definitely built to make a run, you know, as far as having vets, as far as having guys who understand, you know, how to win and having, you know, uh, KD motivated and you know just ready to go <laughs> LaMarcus you are a guy who's accomplished a lot in this league Blake Griffin's that kind of guy too Paul Millsap's that kind of guy too what's interesting is all of you in some way are sacrificing minutes points whatever it might be in order to try and go on a championship run here right and fill in around James Harden and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant I mean, how difficult is it to get to that place mentally when you're a guy who's been used to carrying a team and now all of a sudden you're being asked, no, 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 on this team, you may not play those kind of minutes or, you, you know, there are some games where this is going to be your role and it's going to be this. How do you kind of adjust to that and, and embrace that role on this team? Uh, it can be tough, but I don't think it was tough for me because I came from a situation where they were going young, so I really didn't get to play. And then I came here, and they embraced me so much, and they were excited to have me. And, you know, I had guys, like, cheering for me. So, you know, I was excited to be here. And I think at some point in your career, it becomes, you know, uh, bigger than yourself. It's about, you know, the, the uh, bigger goal. I think 
all of us as vets. It's, it's about winning, you know, like getting that that uh, championship. It's not about stats or playing time or this or that. It's about winning a ring. Mm -hmm. you, you brought up KD, and I know you've watched and played with him and seen him forever, but to see what he did during the postseason, of course, last season coming back from that Achilles injury, uh, but the watch, the level that he took his game to throughout the course of the playoffs, w what was your perspective on that? I mean, I wasn't surprised. You know, he works hard. I was around him in the off season a little bit, and, you know, we have a guy that talented that works as hard as he does. I wasn't surprised, and I just think it was nice to see because I feel like he put so much into the game. It was nice to see the game, you know, actually give it back to him. And, you know, he's built for those moments. You know what I'm saying?